Um, who's here like to save money? Okay, most, everyone's of you. Especially, I think it's very important for us day worker because um, the kind of easy way to improve our financial position is to save money, try to spend less because we all on a fixed income, no bonuses or like commission for us. So um, I want to give you or um, telling you some of the experience that I have as a couponer or the mistake I have being a couponer. So I become a couponer about five years ago when one of my coworkers um, introduced me to freefinder.com. It's a beginner website for anyone who wants to save money. So it gives them um, a breakdown of all the deals that they have at the market. Also, uh, what kind of coupon and promotion that you can combine to get literally free or nothing out of pocket. So here's some breakdown or here's some um, information that I compiled so that I can go along. So through my five year ex uh, experience, um, those five years not successful ones. Uh, I think the first <laughs> couple years I spending actually more than what I should because I just go out and getting stuff that I don't really need or use. So I end up having a, a, a pile, a stock pile of food in my garage. So I end up donating them to family and friends. So through this experience, I learned to be smarter. I only go out to hunt for deal that I actually use, products that I actually use. So I also come up with four items that I will not buy at the um, warehouse store, like Costco or Sam's Club. Um, the first one on the list is a dental hygiene product. Second would be personal hygiene products like shampoo, body wash. Um, the last, uh, the third one would be a uh, paper product like um, um, paper towel, toilet paper, etc. And then lastly is the diaper. Like um, I just have a two years old, so it's uh, quite a big expenses for me. So uh, on the list you can see there's a two website. The first one is freestufffinder.com. That's the website that I've started to use in the beginning. Um, also crazy couponlady.com. So this website is really um, helpful resources for you. You don't really have to spend a, money, a, a lot of time to go to all the ads from different, mar uh, from different supermarkets or stores. They compile the list for you. You can also go to a specific store that you like to shop at, like for example, Target, and then they give you a compiled list of the deals they have for that week. Um, and then the second, um, item would be, um, I also download cash rebate app like I bought it <coughs> and check out 51. So those are for in-store shopping. If you purchase a um, specific item, you can get a cash back after the purchase. Um, I also sign up for on, um, I, I border and eBay for online shopping. Um, when, every time when I do online shopping, I will check, uh, I'll, I'll also check retailme.com to get any promotion code. Uh, promotional code and discounts for gift card because sometimes they will have um, gift card um, at discount that you can purchase and um, you can use it while away. So basically they will send you a link with their e gift card that you can uh, apply to your purchase. Um, sometimes they also have rebate offer too. Like some of the rebate offer that they have is better than rebate. So this is the step that I usually um, will do when I do any online shopping. So I will go to the ebates.com and see any cash offer they have, and then I'll go to uh, retailme.com for any promotional code. So there's three store that is my favorite to do couponing. The first one is Target. Um, as you all know, if you shop at Target, they have a um, Cartwheel app that um, you can apply additional discount. In addition to that, Target also have gift card promotions. Uh, when you buy certain amounts of specific category, you will get a $5 gift card back. So at Target, you can, we call it triple stack. You can stack your manufacturer, manufacturer coupon, cartwheel, and also the gift card promotions. The second one on the list is Rite Aid. And lastly, uh, for department store purchase, I like to go to Coast. So from my last speech, people asked, how can you get stuff for the free or make money? So I compile an example from freestufffinder.com. The first one, you can get two toothpaste for free. You only need to print out one coupon, and then at the end of the purchase, you will get a $2 uh, 
um, coupon back for your next purchase. Um, if you're crazy like me, I like to do the second one that you can actually make money for getting a free product. <laughs> but there's an uh, additional step to it. So you have to download the app that I was mentioned about, the ca uh, cashback app, so you can get uh, rebate back through the app. So the last question is how you get coupons. So there's two ways to do it, or three ways to do it. If you want to literally buy a Sunday newspaper to get the insert on the Sunday newspaper, you can do that. But for me, because I don't need all the coupon under insert, so I will go to coupons.com to get the electronic or the printout of the coupons. Um, this way, you only limit to two identical coupons per device. But um, if you into some of the paper insert, majority of the time they have a higher value, then I will go to some of the coupon clipping services, like uh, the one that I listed is dailydime.com. So they don't charge for the coupon because it's legal to buy or sell coupon. So mm -hmm. they just charge a fee to click coupon for you and mail it to you. So for your cost, you just need to pay for the service fee for coupons plus the mailing fee. So I tend to use dailydime.com because I can get the coupon that I like for the, uh, for the product that I want to get or I will be using. <coughs> so, okay, so I'm going to show you around how a border looks like. So this is all the current offer they have. And the one that I check is the one that I'm interested in buying and get the cash back. So overall, I have this ad since they become available, probably like three years ago. So my lifetime earning is $1,500. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine how much I spent. <laughs> so on the bottom of the list, I give you my refer code. So if you use the code to download the app and submit an offer online or submit a cash rebate online, I will get $5 credit. So Whoa. if all of you can do that, maybe we have some extra money to come up with a food item when we have a fun meeting next time. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, one other thing I like about butter is um, not only for any, um, what do you call it? Because I'm being being a crafter, I like to cook and do a lot of um, crafty stuff. Um, they also have a rebate, cash rebate for um, Joanne, so you can get fifty percent cash back for any install Joanne purchase. Mm. Okay. Wow. That's fifty percent. Fifteen. 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 But sometimes it will have twenty percent for a promotion. So it's really good. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I reviewed the notes from my last one. I said, okay, what exactly did I ask you to do? And what I did like was your opening. You caught everyone's attention with the question. Because what that does is it gives a buy-in to the people so they can kind of zone in and pay attention to what you're talking about. And once you did that, it was actually pretty smooth. I said, I said, okay, she did listen. I was very impressed with you. And as far as being well prepared, very well prepared, you're well versed. I could, like I told you before, you're very versed and very, uh, I would say, engaging the topic because when it comes down to saving money, everyone wants to know how to do it and how to do it effectively, efficiently, and with at least fuss as possible. And with the websites that you gave us, it actually, help people like, okay, well maybe I can look here and look there, to see what kind of things that I can use for my own home. Mm. And you did incorporate the previous evaluation notes when you gave the speech. Your eye contact, it was varied throughout the room. Uh, the, your volume or your tone, it was it was varied, it wasn't monotone, so it came in and out, so that was very good as well. And your humor, loved it. I love the humor because one of the things that caught my attention when you said, I will tell you the things that I did well and some of the things that I didn't do well. So these are some of my mistakes. A suggestion I would probably have is possibly when you're giving out the list, give it toward the end because I want people to pay attention to what you have to say because you have a lot to offer as far as like how to save money, how to not save money. And because the information that was on there, what I did notice is that people were focusing on the list and not on your words unless they heard something that caught their attention. And there was a lot in there that they, some people may have missed. Mm -hmm. And I know I heard some things, I'm like, okay, they're not catching it because they're focusing on the list. But I like the list, but maybe give it out towards the end. Mm -hmm. And so you, and when you were giving your things that you would buy, as far as like yourself, I think it was Pampers, and uh, the 
paper products, I believe you said, the audience was very engaged because once again, everybody's buying paper products, everybody's buying student space. So I like the ideas that you incorporated to make sure it would bring up everyone's attention. And also for the wrap up at the end, and I saw I kind of got away from just a little bit because everybody was really engaged at this point, tie the beginning in with the ending, something similar like this is how I save money for my family, I hope it'll help you, or something along those lines. Mm -hmm. But therefore to tie the beginning and the end together. And other than that, excellent speech, good job.